we're going to go over some tips and tricks uh, for using pro dye and dyeing cattle prior to show or sale. Um, there's a few things. Here's the kit of the pro dye. Um, there's different bottles and we need to mix them equally. We've got a black cap one and a red cap one. Um, this is the, actually the dye and this is um, the activator and we need to, no matter how much we put on them, we need to make sure there's an equal amount of both of those. So um, this kit actually comes with uh, 10 bottles and if we're gonna only use four, we just need to make sure that we use two of each. So um, we're gonna go ahead and, and start filling this bottle up. You can use a um, fogger or a bottle. Um, I will tell you that uh, Whatever you do, um, before you start handling this dye, make sure you put on your gloves um, because if you get any sort of dye on your hands, it's gonna be there for a while. It really works well. Um, no matter if it just it's on there for a second and you go wash it off, this stuff will stain yourself and your clothing. So we use this uh, these gloves and then as well, um, I like to go ahead and use um, a, an old jacket or even some old slicking pants and put them on over because it will ruin your clothes if you get it on there. So we're going to put a, a few in this bottle quick. There's a few other things we like to do um, on cattle that have some white on them and we don't want to um, get that white black. This heifer we're going to do is a semitol and she's got a little um, little white up in her udder and so what we like to do we've got uh, some pro gloss and some pro foam and I like to put a layer of uh, pro gloss in, on there so that dye won't stick to it and then if you put a layer of pro foam on the on after the pro gloss what happens is it'll just kind of coat that udder or coat that white spot that you don't want to get um, they don't want to get all the dye on. It'll keep you, if you do get any overlap on that, it'll keep it from sticking to it. Now today we're going to be dyeing this heifer outside. We've got the ideal conditions to dye um, dyer out here. We'd probably advise you not to dye them um, outside on a direct sunlight day where it's really sunny. What happens is that um, sunlight will actually bake the dye onto the um, hair. So what we're going to do with this heifer is we're going to um, dye her and then we're going to take her and get her out of the sun. We like to dye outside tied to an old fence or find a section of the barn that's old because anything you get this dye on when you're putting it on it, it's going to stick to that gate or that fence or that cement. So you want to make sure you're aware of your surroundings as well. Um, we've got a new uh, applicator brush for the dye. Um, we actually dye a lot of cattle that have multicolor. Um, a lot of cattle are black and white nowadays. And um, this brush just helps us be a little bit more precise when we're getting around those spots. Um, we use this on their ears, down around their hooves and stuff if we're wanting to get um, a head of cattle dyed for a show where you can't paint. So we'll use this um, applicator brush around those fine tuned areas. When we're dyeing, we don't want to add anything to the dye. Um, some other conventional dyes that we've used in the past, we've used actual shampoo or we put sheen in there, um, some different stuff to mix with it. We don't want to mix anything with this dye. We're going to mix it up just with the activator and the actual dye, make sure that's all mixed really well. And then uh, we're going to scoot over here to the heifer. I'm going to apply my jacket and we're going to show you how to um, cover those spots. We don't want to get black and then we're going to go ahead and dye this heifer.